In this video, you will host your very own Raspberry Pi dashboard. It logs CPU usage, storage usage, memory usage, and temperature. You can also change the theme, the time scale, and it also works on mobile. Let's get started. Okay, so let's connect to our Raspberry Pi via SSH. Okay, so now we're in this laptop. It's, a, it's not really a Raspberry Pi, but it has the same operating system. So let's go into documents. Now we're going to go into apps and we're going to git clone a repository. We're going to use git to download code a-live, so github.com code alive slash pipebow. There we go. And now that should create a folder called PyPal, so go into PyPal, there we go. That's ls-lh, and see that we have all these commands here. Now let's shell pipal.sh here. So it should set up this in the cron tab. So every one minute, what it does is it logs into log.csv, which holds all the data we need for the graphs, which we'll get onto in a minute, and then reboot. This means when our Raspberry Pi goes online, we want to execute serve.sh. And what does serve.sh do? Well, if we cat serve.sh, basically it runs on port 8080 and it runs the website. So let's sh serve.sh. There we go. Now you've got your host name, host name i, if you, you should have it if you're connected to um, your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now when we connect to the host name of the Raspberry Pi and the port 8080, note that 8080 might be taken for you. If it's taken, then you can do this, where you can change the port in serve.sh. So if you want to learn how to create this app step by step, and learn how to save hundreds of dollars in hosting costs and maximize your Raspberry Pi hosting, I've made a course for you with a limited time discount. The link is in the description. The price is planned to increase $20 each week. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee, which means there's no risk. Anyways, see you next time.